there are other programs. There's a program called uh, Cut the Rope uh, on an iPad. Um, it teaches you physics and, uh, and it teaches you uh, mechanical engineering and principles of moment of inertia. And, it, and you see all these very interesting machines with moving parts operating in gravitational fields with bubbles that float up and there's viscosity and, and again, there's, uh, there's rotational dynamics. When you start by playing the game, because the rope's swinging and you're trying to cut the rope and the thing swings back and forth, and the first are, puzzles are simple and then they get harder and they get harder and they get harder and then the thing starts moving and the frame of reference starts changing. And then at some point, uh, adults uh, start to be challenged, but the kids just keep going, right? And the kids just go through the 87 levels. Well, it, it, I went to MIT and I studied mechanical engineering and I stared at it and I thought, there are a lot of things that this game teaches you I didn't really figure out until I was a junior in college. And then you start thinking, well, if a six-year-old starts to figure this stuff out, right? If I can create an uh, electromechanical lab you know, with, uh, with alternating physical frames of reference and I can give it to a six-year-old and let them learn at their own rate, how much smarter are these kids going to be? Right? How much faster are they going to learn? No, no one's going to be constrained by the availability of laboratories or, or, or tutorial tools. But what if I can get a good education on an iPad, right? If I can, if I can automate education or, or, or project it, then maybe people that don't live in the first world can get just as educated as people that do. But it's do. just 99% of what we have and produce and manufacture and shift and store no longer has any intrinsic value. That, that 40 million iPads is going to become 350 million tablet computers within the next 36 months to 60 months. And it'll be a billion sometime out uh, 10 years from now. And, and 20 years from now, it'll probably be 5 billion. Now, why, why do I think 5 billion? Because there's 5 billion mobile phones on the planet. And when I was in college, there were zero. I'm not that old. 20 years, zero to five billion. Um, oh, there's just, there's, you know there are more people, more people can access mobile networks in the world that can get access to running water. All right, so net network access is greater. Um, <clears throat> and as that happens, right, you've got this, this profound, disruptive, egalitarian, utilitarian tornado that's blowing through everything. Um, if I can actually uh, provide 12 million books for free to someone with an iPad, then that means I can provide 12 million books for, to someone for free in the middle of a jungle of Burma.